guys welcome back to my channel so today I did a get ready with me first impressions using all flower beauty products the only things that weren't first impressions was the um, the setting spray the foundation and the sponge these are things that I've had and I've been using for a while I already love um, but everything else I tried for the first time so far everything oh my god everything was amazing you'll find out more as you watch the video but i love the way this look came out i love the eyes i love the lip this is probably my new go-to red lip um yeah i hope you guys enjoy it so if you want to see how i got this look and what i think of all these flower beauty products then just keep watching okay for primer i'm going to use the hydrating primer if i can open it It feels really nice right off the bat. It's not sticky or silicone feeling. It's just, it kind of feels just like a cream, which I'm not mad at. It doesn't have a god awful smell or anything. Okay. And then I'm going to go in with the Light Illusion Foundation in the shade Porcelain 01. And I'm going to blend it out with my flower sponge, which I feel like it's my favorite, more affordable sponge, you know, over the Beauty Blender. Like, I like it better than the Morphe or the Real Techniques one. I love this foundation. I love this foundation. This has such a beautiful finish. Good coverage. Like I feel like this foundation just looks like you have a filter on your face. Like it's like you're just putting a Snapchat filter on your face because it's so natural looking. And my favorite way to apply it is with the sponge, but if you want like a less dewy, more coverage, a brush works really well too. One of the things I'm most excited to try is the concealer. I got two shades. I got L12 Fair and L34 Light. I feel like I'm gonna be fair. We'll try the fair. I've heard really good things about this concealer. I'm so excited to try it. joking with this packaging now, are they? I can get it out. Okay. I'm excited. Here's hoping the shade works. Ooh. I like it 
so far. Ooh, I'm so excited. I feel like I just found my new favorite drugstore concealer. Oh my God. Wow. It's like really good coverage and still has that natural finish. Like it's not matte, it's not dewy, it's just like your skin. I'm so excited. Okay, now I'm gonna try the Miracle Glow Satin Finishing Powder. They have a matte one as well, and I feel like they have one more. Maybe there's, maybe there's just two. But I got the satin one. Its packaging is huge. Like it's massive. How do you use this? How does one use this? I'm like scared. Okay. Okay. Oh, it's got a little, a little puff. Oh. Okay, I'm just gonna. Miracle Glow Satin Finishing Powder. Minimizes the appearance of imperfections and has an ambient glow. We will see. I like that it doesn't dump a whole lot out. Okay, I'm gonna take. Oh, wait. Should I try these? that I'm gonna pop open the brush set that came from my order I figure I might as well try the brushes while I'm trying everything else god they're not joking with like sealing up these packages tiny but can I get a brush out God, they were glued in there honestly that's a little extreme I'm gonna take this brush I'm gonna tap out my concealer it doesn't even it creased on my eyelid a little bit and I'm just gonna smells good too in case you were wondering okay I'm just gonna take this powder and set my whole face with this little tiny okay the powder just went everywhere with this little tiny brush pray for me I will say this packaging kind of throws me a little because Maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm just stupid. But do you see all the powder? That's fine. But like, it kept that like beautiful finish that I love about the foundation and now the concealer. But it like set my face. I'm like blown away. I'm already like, good job, Flower Beauty. Okay, here's where I get nervous. I'm gonna try the eyebrow pencil. Draw the line eyebrow pencil. New brow products make me nervous because I'm very particular about my brow products. I got the shade Brunette. Wish me luck. I'm nervous, guys. I'm nervous. Okay, I'm gonna do my brows see what happens it's kind of chunky it's a little thick guy that probably sounded bad anyway i'm nervous
it's like creamy so far not too creamy but not too stiff you know when an eyebrow pencil is too stiff and it's like you're like carving into your skin to get your brows on it's not like that but it's not so creamy where it's like slipping and sliding everywhere either Does anybody like do their brows like completely like one at a time? Cause I kind of go back and forth with mine. Is that weird? Here's where I'm getting really nervous. I'm afraid guys. I don't want to apply too much, you know? I want to like blend and see how it blends out. I will say right off the bat, I feel like the color is a little warmer than I prefer. Like, I definitely prefer a more neutral brown. I don't feel like they had a big shade range. I feel like they had, like, three shades. And there was basically, like, a blonde brunette and, like, one for black hair. But... Can I make it work? Yeah. Would I wear it every day as of right now? No. That could change, this is all just a first impression, that could change. Okay, it's okay, it's not horrible. It's not my favorite, it's not horrible. Okay, now I'm gonna go into the Beauty Flash Full Face Palette. Okay, let's not drop it. I'm gonna use this for my bronzer, blush, and eyeshadow today. Okay. There goes that. Mm. Mm. I'm nervous about this bronzer. I, mean, I feel like personally that this palette should have. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. Let me check before I say anything. No, it says universally flattering shades. So I don't think there's like other shade ranges of this palette, but I feel like there should be because let's face it, that is not a universal bronzer. That's not a universal highlighter. Like, you know what I mean? Like for different skin tones, I feel like they should have. I'm nervous. I'm gonna take a little angled brush from that set. Mm, I'm nervous. This looks kind of, hmm. It's okay. It's not as bad as I thought it would be. Okay. It's not as bad as I thought it would be on my skin tone, but again, it's not universal. It's just not. Okay. Ugh. There's no way I'm gonna use this brush. There's no way. No, I'm not using that brush. Mm -mm. 
I'm gonna use the eye shades and make like a little a little eye look. See what we got going on. Um, mm -hmm. I'm gonna pick up this N209 in this middle shade. And throw that in the crease. It's a pretty color. And I just primed with my concealer, that flower concealer, and set it with that powder earlier. Which is basically what I do like all the time unless I'm doing like an extravagant look. Okay, I'm not mad at the eyeshadows so far. They blend well, they're pretty pigmented. I'm gonna take that same shade and just kinda throw it under here also. I'm gonna pick up this M124 in that lighter shade and put it on the lid. this darker shade on I will say there's a lot of kickback which that's it doesn't bother me but I'm gonna pick up an M222 and just kind of put it on the outer third and kind of in the crease M330 and just make sure it's all blended. And now I'm just going to pick up that same ankle brush in this top blush color. Like, who am I? And just kind of pop it on there. That's cute. I like how everything, it's very powdery, but I like how everything kind of has like a, not a shimmer, but like a, a natural finish to it. Okay, now I'm going to pick up my Morphe M431 and the highlighter shade in the palette because I'm not going to use it as my highlighter. And I'm going to pop it in the inner corner. And along the brow bone. Now I don't, I didn't pick up an eyeliner because to be honest, 
I don't ever really wear eyeliner. So I was like, what's the point? But I got the Lash Warrior Mascara, which I'm super excited about. I've heard really good things about this as well. Okay, so this opened easy. Nothing else did. It's fine. Let's see what we got going. Ooh, it's got a rubbery like wand, which I prefer. And now I'm gonna pile this on. Oh, that was loud. What? I really, really like the way this eye look came out. Like, it's so simple. But I like it a lot. Okay, now I'm going to use this. The Shimmer and Strobe Highlighting Palette. But like, am I going to use the brush? I don't know about that. <laughs> am I going to use just one or them all? So you have like this is like a, like a lighter champagne kind of color. This one's kind of pinky and then this one's definitely more gold. I feel like I might mix these two. The gold kind of scares me a little. Fuck it, I'm gonna use the brush. I'm gonna use the brush. I'm gonna start with the the white the white one. <laughs> oh. 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 I mean, I definitely gotta blend it out. That's like barely any product, y'all. Y'all, I might not mix it, okay? Oh my God. Okay, Flower Beauty. Okay, Drew Barrymore. You did not come to play. Oh my God, this is gonna be like the best drugstore highlighter in a minute. cheekbones oh. okay yes I don't even need anything else oh my god I'm obsessed I need to get it together I don't think they have any lip liners if they do I didn't see them and I didn't even think to order one until just now but I got the Miracle Matte Lip in the shade Scarlet Letter. I saw Jamie Genevieve wearing it and I was like, I have to have it, obviously. So this is what we're wearing today. It smells like Play-Doh, which kind of trips me out. It's very comfortable, very pigmented, and it doesn't go on like liquid. It goes on like a mousse almost. It feels like it's not drying at all. It feels just like a pillow. 
and it's a gorgeous color. Currently was playing with fire, applying it with no lip liner, but you do what you gotta do. I'm not gonna bring something that's not flower beauty into this. Obsessed. Okay. And even with the eye look, like it goes. Oh my God. That's like the most comfortable liquid lipstick I've ever worn in my life. Okay. Okay. I'm done. Okay. I'm going to finish off with the Seal the Deal Hydrating Setting Spray. to everything except for maybe the brow pencil not my favorite it's good I'm not saying I'll never use it again but it's just not my elf ultra precise brow pencil that I love you know it's just kind of fat and the shade is not ideal for me I can make it work I can make it work but it's like a, it's like a, a B plus a minus and the full face palette the shadows, I love. I will, like, I love. The bronzer's okay. The blush is okay. Like, everything applied fine. Everything worked fine. But I don't, I just wish they would come out with, like, other shades for, like, other skin tones. Cause I just don't think it's universal. That's all. Love the primer. Already love the foundation. Already love the setting spray. Already love the sponge. This blew me out of the water. As well as the liquid lip. Um, the concealer is my new favorite drugstore concealer, hands down. Like, I, I can't say enough good things. I love Drew Barrymore. I love Flower Beauty. Amazing makeup at such an amazing price. I think they're cruelty-free, okay? And I think it's made in the USA. So what else more could you want? Like, awesome. I'm so pleased. I love the look. I love the look. My skin looks amazing. My eyes look amazing. My lips look amazing. I'm just... I'm very pleased with it. I hope you guys like it. I hope you go out and pick you up some Flower Beauty products. And, um, yeah. Yeah. I'll see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe.